everyone. So today I actually have a human hair review for you and that is of the wig that I'm wearing which is Lynn by Wigs by Tiffany. So Wigs by Tiffany is a small business based out of the US and they create beautiful human hair pieces, both wigs and toppers. Let me talk to you a little bit about Lynn and my purchasing experience because it's the first time that I purchased from Wigs by Tiffany and I want to talk to you a little bit about not only the wig but also how long it took to ship, what, what was my experience, as well as some before and afters of the wig when I first received it. So without further ado, um, let me talk to you a little bit about Lynn. Um, so I'm wearing this lovely unit, which is the style Lynn, and it has actually been customized. So you won't find Lynn looking like this on the Wigs by Tiffany website when it's next available. So let me rewind and go back to how I purchased Lynn. So I have been looking at Wigs by Tiffany for quite a while now. I was lusting over this wig for quite a while and a fellow Australian, um, Kelly, or Hair Loss Boss, if you follow her on Instagram, actually owned Lynn and I wanted to get someone else's opinion before I took the plunge and purchased Lynn for myself. So Kelly and I got into discussing about Lynn. She gave me some really great feedback about the color, um, about the shape, about the hair quality and about the fit. So I contacted um, Wigs by Tiffany and asked them a little bit about um, sizing of the cap. Really great communication. The feedback was pretty much overnight. Well, overnight because it's Australia. So I got the feedback the next morning and I was able to make the correct purchase, which was a small cap for myself. So I'm a 20.8 circumference. So I'm on the smaller size of average. And I was advised by Wigs by Tiffany to go one size down if I was in between sizes. So I'm really glad that I did because this is a size small and it fits perfectly. So after placing the order, I actually received Lynn within a week. So it was pretty much just as the pandemic hit. I was lucky though to receive this um, without any delays. Um, I had tracking codes. I had contacted Australia Post on my end as well, just to make sure that I was tracking the delivery and that it was delivered to my workplace. So my parcel arrived, as I mentioned, in a week. I received a really well-wrapped parcel and inside the parcel were actually um, the wig, which was in a Hessian bag or in a, it was wrapped really, really well and it was tucked inside this really cute Hessian bag. And I also got some goodies, which I will talk to you about before I talk about the wig. So I received a wet brush. So if you guys don't already know, I absolutely love wet brushes and I have the larger wet brush um, for all of my human hair wigs. Love it. Hands down, if you want a brush for human hair, then absolutely get the wet brush. So it is a detangling brush. This is travel size, which I really like because I can take it with me um, when I go on holidays, but also keep it in my bag. So yes, the wet brush is a fantastic brush and thank you so much for this. I really, really do appreciate it. I got a lovely little card with a personal message. So thank you so much, Tiffany. And I also received a few other goodies, which I will show you. It also came with a wig grip. This wig grip has a lace front so that you can wear it underneath the part. So if this wig was a little bit bigger or if I wanna wear it up, I would actually wear this wig grip underneath so that the part could sit underneath so I wouldn't budge. But I don't need you because the fit is so fantastic on this wig, which I'll get to shortly. And I also received this really cute, um, pearl uh, clip, hair clip. So thank you so much for the goodies. I was not expecting these, um, really do appreciate it. And it's always nice to receive something extra from wig vendors. It just shows that they care and um, you know, they're taking care of you. It's not just about taking your money. So this for me means a lot and especially the handwritten note was, was a really nice touch. So thank you. Yeah, I really did appreciate it. And everything arrived just so nicely. All right, let's talk about Lynn. So Lynn, as I mentioned, does not look like this on the website. I'll put the original photo of Lynn in, um, just here in the corner and talk to you a little bit about why I decided to customize this piece. Lynn's measurements are 20 inches. Um, it's 135% density, which is a, a nice average density. It is quite natural on the top and it is higher density around the base of the cap, which I really enjoy. And the hair texture is actually soft Brazilian, but the cap itself is what actually won me over. And I'll show you a split video of the inside of the cap and um, talk you through it as well. So it is a closed wefted cap around the sides and the back. It does have a lace top, so you can part it wherever you like on the top for that um, realism. 
And as I mentioned, it is a small cap. So the fit on me is absolutely perfect. And I'll show you where the adjusters are as well on the nape. So it has some really great ear tabs with some great coverage. Um, they do have metal stays in them and they are really strong metal stays. And the extended nape also has two um, metal stays. So it sits under the occipital bone and the back of your, um, in the back of your head. So it does fit really, really nicely. I'm super happy about the cap. And that is why I decided to customize the wig. So, as you can see from the original photo, the wig itself was described as a cool tone blonde with, um, I guess, ashier rooting. So um, when it arrived to me, it was on the warmer side. So if you've seen some of my previous videos, human hair does tend to run warm when it's blonde. It requires some additional processing in order to remove the warmth. Lynn was a little bit warm for my liking and the rooting wasn't as dark as I would have liked. Now, don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful wig and a beautiful color, but it just wasn't what I wanted for my next human hair wig because I do have a couple of blonde John Renaults which kind of had a similar tone. I wanted something which which had a little bit more darker roots and a bit more of a cool blonde appearance. So that led me to customizing this wig. I had previously purchased a wig from um, another vendor here in Australia called Heavenly Lace Wigs. And I reached out to Heavenly Lace Wigs to see whether they would be able to take on the customizing of this wig and um, the recoloring, if you will. So I sent out my wig to Heavenly Lace Wigs and we talked about what I was hoping to achieve with the overall look, what we were able to do on this hair type as well and also talk a little bit about how I would customize the cut. So I'll add a side by side of what Lynn looks like again when I purchased her and when she was freshly customized. So as you can see we have added some darker roots quite a lot of low lights and we also toned it so the blonde appears more ashy more cool toned which is more to my liking as well i also cut off probably a good one to two inches so it's no longer 20 inches it's more like 18 and we've added some um, face framing layers and thinned it slightly just around the front so it was a little bit too heavy for my face. So um, we thinned it a little bit, added some layers and it's given it a more airy and light appearance without it um, just falling too heavily around my face. So I'll actually do a 360 so you can see what Lynn now looks like. Fully customized, different color, different cut, um, but same fabulous cap and construction. So yeah, this is Lynn. This is my new Lynn and my fully customized Lynn. So let me come closer to the camera so I can show you the shape, but I'll also insert some photos out in the sunlight so you can see what it looks like. So I'm actually really happy with my experience with Wigs by Tiffany. Again, it's my first time actually purchasing from a smaller vendor and wig manufacturer, and I'm really, really pleasantly surprised and just so happy with the experience, as well as the local customization that I was able to achieve on this wig. So um, this is now more to my style and exactly uh, the shades that I wanted. I know that with a few washes, this will probably fade a little bit. I'll probably need to tone it a little bit more. What I wanted to stress though is a wig from a manufacturer will rarely be exactly what you're looking for. You'll have a few things on your checklist of what you're looking for in a wig that will be ticked off, um, but it will need some kind of customization, even the, the most minimal of customization, whether that is a little bit of a trim, whether that's washing it, giving it a new style, putting some um, purple toner on it, just, just actually tweaking it slightly so that it works well with your personal style, then um, yeah, don't be disappointed that out of the box, it's not exactly what you want. I think you need to live in a wig and absorb it before you're able to fully um, acknowledge if it suits you or not, or if it works for you or not. I held on to Lynn in her original format for about a month. She was sitting in my drawer every couple of days. I'd pull her out, put her back on, 
look at myself, take a few photos and see what works for me and what didn't. I wanted to create a new list of how I think, how I thought I could customize her to suit my personal style. So I was lucky enough to find Heavenly Lace wigs and work really close together with them on um, customizing Lynn. And I'm, I couldn't be more thrilled, honestly. Like I'm really, really happy with how she wears, how she looks. So she's held the curl really nicely for about a month now. Um, I've worn her probably around six times just around the house. Obviously, social isolation, I can't really wear her out much. And I don't wear human hair outside of the house, only because I just want to try and avoid washing my good wigs as much as possible. So Lynn stays home. She's my house wig for the moment until social isolation finishes. But as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, what really made me hang on to Lynn was the cap and how comfortable this is, as well as the construction. Definitely up there versus some of my other human hair wigs. Um, Definitely the quality of this wig is fantastic. The craftsmanship, so a huge thank you to Wigs by Tiffany. I mean, this is such a fantastic wig. And if you are on the hunt for a wig from a small business, so I won't talk about um, the larger wig companies. I mean, wig reviews are everywhere for those companies. So just go search, do your research. But if you are looking for something which is perhaps more customizable, which may look a little bit different already, you know, and you want to support a small business, then definitely check out Wigs by Tiffany. I'm not affiliated to them whatsoever. I'm just a customer and I wanted to jump on and review this wig because I've had a really great experience and I'm really happy with the outcome. I'm being totally honest and transparent. I, I love this wig, but you know, the color wasn't there for me in the beginning. But now, the way that I've been able to transform this wig into what I wanted with some tweaking, then that for me is a killer wig. So in summary, I'm really happy with this wig. I'm happy with the, cut, the way I've been able to customize it and the way that it works on my face shape, my body type, my height, because I am 5'2", so I'm pretty short. And yeah, it's a great wig. It's, it's really, really lovely. And I know that I'll be able to get a few years wear out of it. So this has been my review on Lynn by Wigs by Tiffany. Now, I know you must have some questions about, you know, the before and afters or about the cap construction. Please let me know what they are down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I hope to be able to do a follow-up review once I've washed her a couple of times. Um, obviously, it'll probably come a little bit later because um, I don't wear her as much and I don't sweat in her or anything like that. It's Currently a house isolation wig, but once I have a bit of an update, I'll um, jump on here and film an updated review or my updated thoughts uh, after a couple of months. But yeah, let me know if you have any questions down below um, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So if you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Kim. I have alopecia universalis and complete hair loss. I love to talk about and review wigs, talk about everything related to hair loss as well as makeup. So if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, then I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so that you are notified of all my new videos that I upload. And I will try to keep uploading to my weekly schedule as much as I can, hopefully two times a week, but I'll try and upload once a week whilst we're in social isolation. So thanks again for watching my review on Lynn by Wigs by Tiffany, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye.